Hi everybody! Hi. I'm Mrs. Me and this is my daughter Sadie. She just turned seven and the other day she came up to me and she said, Mom, can we please build a fairy garden? And I said, sure. But first we need to plan out what we're going to do. That means creating a draft or getting your ideas out of your brain <laughs> onto paper before we start anything because it's a fair task. So Sadie drew a design. Do you want to show everyone? There it is. Tell them about your design. There's a fairy house. So what's this bit here? It's a river. A river. Mm -hmm. And looks like some stones. Yes. And, picnic. and some picnic and a picnic. So she got some ideas that the things she'd like to see in her fairy garden, drew them out. And so now we're going to tackle this task together. Don't know how it's going to turn out. Do you think it's going to be amazing? Yeah. Well, we're excited and we're going to show you what we do throughout the journey. So come along with us and we'll show you. Yay. or some sort of vessel to put the fairy garden in. Now this is important because we didn't just want to dig it into the ground and then our dogs eat it or it get destroyed. So we wanted to put it in something that can move around, out of the rain, things like that. So where, what did we do? Uh, we went into the garage and found some stuff. Yeah, so we went into our garage and we had a look what we already had. We want to reuse rather than purchase new things. So yep. what did we find? <laughs> this! What is it? Christmas tree stand. It's a Christmas tree stand. <laughs> it's an old Christmas tree stand. But my husband, your daddy, was actually really clever and he found this. He thought this could be really cool because there's two different tiers to it. Isn't there? So we yeah. could have some plants in here, we could have some little fairy houses yeah. down here, we could have things hanging off these hooks, and we don't need this anymore. So we thought, well, we're going to reuse it. Yeah. So we're going to document what we do and hopefully inspire you to create your own fairy garden at home. There, Delilah. What's that? Flowers. Who are they and for? It's both of ours. Yeah. Who are the flowers for? Um, I leave Sadie and Mary's flowers. Yeah. And this plant. And they're both for the fairies. All three are for the fairies. So on our little trip to Bunnings, we bought a few essential things. Firstly, we got a mat of artificial grass. This is a big metre by metre piece and I believe it was about $10. The plan is to stick it around here to create a bit of a garden around the base. Now we need to stick that down with some liquid nails. And at the top, we want to put some beautiful flowers and some succulents as well for the fairies to enjoy. And we got some solar fairy lights. And I believe these are about $15. And the idea is for them to go around the outside. And we also found these gorgeous little gems, which are in the same sort of color scheme as what we painted. And they might be really cool little stepping stones for the houses. So we're gonna get started with the grass. Do you think that's the first thing we should do, Sage? Yeah. Here we are, and we're going to do the base first. And we're going to put cut this big piece of artificial grass. Yeah. We sort of have to measure it. It's yeah. massive. Yeah. Whoa. Uh, it's huge. It's way too big, but that's way. all we could get. So 
We need to sort of make sure it's the right size, size and shape. Yeah. Yeah. How do you do this? Oh. How about we just cut it too big to start and yeah. then we can have a go at, at trimming. Yeah, all right, so I'm just gonna do yeah. This is pretty difficult to cut, so I'm gonna do this. Lila's gonna come in and join. Yeah. Hi. 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 Her name is Delilah. <laughs> Kind of looks like a volcano, doesn't it? <laughs> All right, we're gonna trim this. That was hard work. I would get an adult to cut this grass because it's actually hurt my hand quite a bit. Um, it's really thick, so I'm I'm just gonna cut this circle. I'm sort of just guessing. I'm just cutting it smaller and smaller, bit by bit, so that it can then just go through this pothole and sit nice and flat. That's the idea. You don't have to do it on the top of a Christmas tree pot like we have. You could use any vessel. You could use a tray. You could use a sink. You can use anything you have lying around. Oh, done. Okay. And see there? That it fits beautifully around the base and that'll be a lovely grassy lawn. Now, to secure the grass, we need to use something called liquid nails. Um, this you'll find at any hardware store and what we're going to do is just lather the base in liquid nails and try to stick this flat and let it dry. You want to have a go, Sophie? Yeah. You've got to squeeze it like this, ready? Squeeze. Okay. <laughs> oh, that's pretty cool. Good. done now that might be easier for you if you have a flat surface but oh that was pretty tricky for us wasn't it yeah <laughs> all right what do you think the next step should be Sorry? putting the plant in there putting the plant in yeah. all right all right our next step is going to plant some beautiful plants up the top layer here uh, for our fairies we've got these are called jocelyn pink and i like these because they don't die after a season so they'll stay here, they'll stay flowering, and so we're just going to squeeze the pot. You squeeze the pot, girls. Squeeze, little squeeze. That's it. All right, and then we tip the pot upside down. Lucky. Here we go careful, careful. Oh, woo! All right. Beautiful. And they're great. A little hole for there for the other one. What do you think? How's that looking so far? Beautiful. I love it. Mother of pearls, but we've only got a small sort of area, so squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Alright, did you have a go, Delilah? Um, yeah. Alright, there we go. This one might be a little bit trickier. We don't need as much soil. Alright, we're just going to try to pop him in next to it. Here is to have the pearls dangling down the okay. side, but we need the roots in the yeah. pot here. Yeah. Here we go. Yeah. All 
right, now we need to get um, some water in our water tub, in our water thingies. What are they called? Water. Watering cans. Watering cans. Thank you. Mommy, water can cans. Yeah, we need the watering cans. Now, I like succulents because I can keep them alive. They're not very easy to kill because they don't need much maintenance. Now I'm going to put some leather in. That's probably enough. <laughs> okay. 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 Alright, so we're on to the next step. What I've actually done is reinforce everything with some hot glue. I found that the liquid nails, um, when it got wet, it just dissolved and it didn't really stick well. So I'm finding that the hot glue is a lot more effective in sticking. Now, if you are a child, please make sure you have an adult with you when using hot glue because it's very hot, believe it or not. So we've just stuck all this down. We've got a beautiful grassy lawn for our fairies. We've got beautiful flowers for them to dance around in. <laughs> and I actually found the bargain of a lifetime. I was so excited. Check this out. Little pre-made fairy houses. You won't believe it. I found it in a pet shop. I went to go get flea medicine for Murphy and Taylor, our two dogs. And these were in the fish section, in the aquarium section. So they're actually, yeah, they're actually meant to go at the bottom of fish tanks. And I got a pink one, a blue one, a purple one. So I thought we'd sort of stick them onto the grass and then we can use our little pebbles here to create some little stepping stones for the fairies to get to their houses. So we just going. Yeah. There's. So where where should they go? There's, I think we should go here. Houses forward to fairy tanks and and no fairies. 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 Purple and pink. Pink and, and blue. All right. How do we feel about this sort of arrangement? Because this so is the front. How's that? that? Can't really see the pink one. No. Alright, time to glue. Let's hope they glue. Lots and lots of hot glue. Gooey, 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 gooey. Gooey, 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 gooey. Alright, are we ready? Press it down. You do it. Push as hard as you can. Push, push, push. Good. Pebble one's stuck. Oh, it is stuck. Excellent. Alright, next one. You ready? Gooey, 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 gooey. Oh, we need a new stick. New glue stick. New glue stick. Okay, Delilah, stick it in the back. Thank you. Beautiful. All right. Gooey, 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 Excellent. Alright. Yeah, don't try to pull it up. Being very generous with the amount of glue I'm putting on the bottom. Excellent. Push. I also picked this up from Bunnings because I thought it was so cool how it looked like a tree trunk. So I'm gonna stick this on as well. This is just an extra um extra idea but it's is not it, necessary. More glue please. Is it gonna be a tree? That's a, a tree. Because fairies love trees. Yeah. It's just another place for them to sort of hang out. How's it going, Sades? Good. What are you doing? I'm putting stepping stones on for the houses. For the fairies. For the fairy houses. <laughs> Good, Delilah. I think that's Is fun. that fun? Yeah. I think that's enough, Delilah. No.
Oh, I think, yeah, that's definitely enough because they'll have to go to each other's houses. That's actually very good, I think. No, no. This is the cutest thing ever, guys. This is the cutest thing ever. <gasps> <laughs> That's why adults use these, and even adults, ow, can hurt themselves. Gosh. Is that funny, is it? They all stuck? So I cut some balsa wood. Balsa wood's really, really soft wood. So I was able to just use some scissors to cut these tiny little planks, which are gonna act as a little um, fence right around the outside of our fairy garden. Again, I'm gonna use hot glue. So please make sure that an adult is able to either supervise or help you with this part, because I really wouldn't want you to burn yourself. You could also use icy pole sticks for this, like little paddle pop sticks that maybe you cut in half. I wanted something a little bit more three-dimensional, which is why I went with the balsa wood. So I feel like our fairy garden is sort of falling into place. It just needs a few final little touches. And I was able to find a few gorgeous little figurines. Look at that. Isn't that the most adorable thing you've ever seen in your life? A little tea set. Uh, and some toadstools, of course, not a fairy garden without those. And of course, it's not a fairy garden without some fairies. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and stick a few things into the garden uh, so that the fairies can really enjoy themselves. The final detail, we were considering putting some solar fairy lights around sort of the outside here. You can see these like toggles that come out. Now, I'm not exactly sure how to do it. Um, they're kind of on a wire and I accidentally put this fairy right where this toggle's meant to go. So, um, all right, let's just see. 